Okay, this is code.org, course number uh, F in 2019. This is in functions in Minecraft, puzzle number seven. Uh, so our instructions say another river. This one is much wider. Fix this code to help the agent build a bridge uh, so Alice can get to the pickaxe. So the code says he's going to go forward and lay planks three times. So one, this would be block one, two, three. Um, I do want to get that diamond, so I'm going to keep that as that is. I'm going to have him go forward three times, turn right, and then forward and lay a plank three times to make a bridge for me. And that's actually only two spots. So I'll run it to see what it looks like. So I don't need this repeat. I only really need him to lay one square, this one, not walk forward again. And then from here, I do need him to turn uh, left and then go forward one, two times. So he's going to go forward two times and lay two planks for me. And that should get me across. So we'll repeat it. <coughs> There you go. Okay, this is um, code.org, course number F, 2019, um, stage one, puzzle number eight. So uh, in this program our instructions say a function name build bridges in your workspace all the code you need to cross the river is built right in snap the small green build bridge function block to your workspace twice to fix the path and get alex to the red torch redstone torch okay so a function is basically when you take a piece of code um, you can name it whatever you want in most times. Uh, and this one is already made for you. It's build a bridge. And inside of this function is all this activity. So instead of uh, typing this over and over and over again, you would just use the, the function build bridge and he would do everything that is inside of that function. Uh, so here uh, we need him to get to the redstone. There is diamond. Um, and in my code, it looks like he goes forward and builds planks twice one two that would get me across good um and then he's going to walk forward twice and then turn right and then if i do it again like the instructions say i should have a bridge going across so i'm going to go ahead and do what the instructions say and build two bridges And I do want the diamond, so I, I'm going to assume that I'm going to put another build bridge. That's the only piece of block left. And I'll reset it and I'll run it again. And I'm using my key, my arrow keys to go ahead and get my diamond. And then I can get my redstone. <coughs> Okay, this is code.org, course F, 2019, lesson one, functions in Minecraft, uh, puzzle number nine. Our instructions say there's ice in the way. Use the clear path function to help you destroy the ice and get Alex to the Minecraft cart. So uh, a function, once again, is when you have a piece of code um, and inside of that code, you put more code. So that saves us from typing destroy block, move forward, place gravel over and over again. We would just use this function and it has all this information inside and it would just do it for us. Okay. So um, 
right in front of my agent is obviously some brick so I'm gonna use my function to make him clear the block and move forward and place gravel I assume there's something underneath there I'm not sure um, so we'll just run it and see what he does oh yeah there's water underneath okay so from there he's gonna have to go forward forward looks weird on the snow so we'll say forward twice then he'll be at our next um, brick to break and then have to go forward one more time and then break some more bricks so go ahead and run it good um, I want him to get my diamond like always so for from here I'm gonna have him turn right and then clear this path for me and then he'll have to go forward two more times and break that other brick for me so then I'll reset it and I'll run it I'll use my arrow keys that just follow him you can also use the keys that are highlighted on the screen and I'll just follow my agent and get my diamond get my mine cart and I'm good to go okay guys this is um, course F uh, lesson 1 level 10 functions in Minecraft so in this one instructions say can you spot the difference between the two functions in your workspace these two functions and with other code from the toolbox to clear the path for your Minecraft to collect the flint and steel so everything you program will control the agent which is this little skeleton looking guy here so whatever you do he's going to do and then you can control Steve these green pieces are called functions so like in Mario Brothers um, let me think uh, Mario Brothers if you were to hit a button and he were to jump um, and then spin rather than putting jump and spin over and over and over you would put it inside of this function that way you would just use that function over and over and over so for example here inside of fixed long path are these uh, lines of code short path are these lines of code so every time you want to fix a short path or the long path you don't have to uh, put all this code into the program you can just use fixed long path and they will do everything here okay so the first thing you need your agent to do obviously is to look toward the railroad path to go okay so you're going to make your agent turn left now he'll be looking uh, at the blocks that he needs to go to and I can tell that's two blocks so he's going to take two steps forward okay now our agent is at this uh, he'll be at this brick here if you notice there's probably two bricks here and there's three bricks here so I'm gonna assume this is the short path and this is the long path so uh, my agent should be at the path right now so I'm gonna go ahead and tell him to fix the short path after he destroys the blocks and lays rail he's going to be in this corner here staring at the wall uh, from there I'm gonna have him obviously turn right so he's looking up then I'm gonna have him walk two steps again and now he's at this big section of blocks that he needs to destroy move forward and lay rails since that is the longer section that's gonna be our long path so I'll put fix long path at the bottom then we'll run our program and now that our agent is doing what it's supposed to you can go ahead and control Steve with the arrows on your keyboard or the arrows on your um, screen Steve will follow the path and you can get out get the flint and still and you're good to go okay this is uh, course F fun functions in Minecraft uh, lesson 1 uh, activity 11 in this section you're gonna have to have your agent build you a bridge to get across to get the notebook so look at the functions below how can you use them to avoid the gas 
and help Steve make it uh, safely to the Enchanted Book. So I noticed um, if I look at these, there's two blocks of space in between this path here and there's three blocks here. So obviously this first one is going to be my short path. This big one is going to be my long path. So I'm controlling my agent and my functions uh, work like the previous lessons in this uh, lesson. If I use this short bridge function, my guy will do everything that I put inside of this function. So when you're making your own code, this code is just named short bridge, but when you make your own functions, you can name them whatever you want, and then you can put whatever you need to be done on the inside. So now he's gonna build the short bridge. Um, I'm not sure exactly what he's gonna do when he gets there. So he'll stop right there. Okay, so then obviously you want him to destroy the block. So let's reset it and see what he does. Okay, so then you probably want him to walk forward to the next spot. And then finally you want him to fix that long bridge. So you'll use your function to build long bridge. We'll reset it and we'll see what he does. Good, now you can go ahead and use your keys to control Steve. You're good to go.